up against there and you want to drag it, just drag it on that tooth like that. And make sure it stays up against the fence. Okay, drag it back. You don't need to push hard, just let it cut. There you go. One more. There you go. MCA. I want to stay with that. There's a line. Grab it. Okay, leave it, okay, up, okay, they are too long. Plus this is, and I want them to all kind of be in a row, but they're going to be on corner. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set this one on here like that. And that White. will be the first one. So I'm going to do a row, and then you do a row. And so we're going to put this uh, in here. What? That's not a problem. It just means that. A little more work. Yep. Why are you cutting it with the beveled side to the edge instead of the... Okay, black. Let me see how that one does. Okay, put, tap a couple fingers along the seam when I tell you. Okay. Hmm? This. No, I need one more here. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, that one's going to be gray. Some of these just need need trimming just a little bit. So light. On top. There. And the grain is going this way. So we want this corner down. Right here. We're going to make it a little bigger than it needs to be. There. Alright, peel up the tape. Just peel it slowly. A lot of fun to get put down.
Hold it. <laughs> Here, watch. Thumbs a little lower. There you go. Le lift it up a little bit. You're leaning it forward. There you go. Right there. Don't worry, it won't cause a problem until the very last pass. Put an inch right to the corner, and then we make a mark at one half inch. Set on there, mark out a half inch. See how that works? You're going to be along the lines. See, we we'll go from this corner, so we want to be all along that line there, and set it out a quarter inch. There you go. And just make a light. No, just push the knife in. That's all you need. There you go. That divot lets you come. Then push it in. Mark the line. Fell out of line. Yep, I know. When you're pulling back, you're pulling the saw this way, and you need to pull it straight back. Longer stroke, longer stroke. All the way through. Cut the bolt off. Okay, why don't you do that? I two, three, four, five, six, two, don't need you right there. Three. And I'm just going to set this on here and work it across. Still that direction. Okay, you're at the corner here, and you're not here. So, one more pass right in this section here. Nope, peel the other direction because the grain's running out this way. Push it down, don't pull it up. These grains and peel that off. See how that works? Mm -hmm. here. Use this one, it might give you a little bit heavier cut. Tip it right there. There you go, 45. That's good. Get your finger away from it. And now you just come into this. Remove any little bars. Feel it? Does that feel good? Yeah. Put it out. I love it. Dyed maple.
printed nine. No, you only printed eight each. See? No, I printed nine. So we're one short. There you go, hexagonal chessboard. This is a collaboration with my daughter. Uh, she has her own woodworking channel, which you can go check that out. She's this close to a thousand subscribers right now. And uh, so she wanted to make a hexagonal chessboard. And so this is her own design and things. I helped her out and showed her how to do things and she can kind of play along with it. Uh, so it's not perfect by any means, but it was kind of a fun experiment for both of us to learn some new things and try out different things and have some fun in the shop. And if you want to see more on it, go check out her channel. She's got a whole video on this where she talks through it and explains what she's doing and why she wants to do it. So uh, think about checking that out. But uh, if you do want to actually help out the channel, then comment down below or you could even just comment down below with comment down below thank you that helps a lot of us and like comment share subscribe really means a lot but if you really want to win mean even more think about joining these people over here those are some of the fantastic wonderful benevolent and gorgeous people over on patreon because that patrons or members um, you guys are literally the ones who sponsor us you keep us going and you allow us to do fun things like this so I don't have to say what some sponsor wants me to talk about. I get to do weird things like hexagonal chest with my daughter. <laughs> so if you uh, want to help out with that, think about becoming a patron or a member. Click the join button down below. And I think that'll do it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Next up, let's make a three-dimensional hexagonal chessboard. Whoa, <laughs> this could be fun.